I took this from the grilled chicken thigh recipe that's on my website. Basically, this is a quarter of the proportions because that's for four pounds of chicken. This is less than a pound of chicken, but this is perfect, this dressing for chicken cutlets like this. We're gonna mix enough to marinate it. We wanna save a little bit. We're gonna be able to put that over the sandwich. Okay, that's about a half teaspoon of oregano. I have domestic Parmesan cheese right here. The recipe uses Pecorino Romano. Use either one you want. If you use Pecorino Romano, you don't need to use as much salt on the marinade. If you use Parmesan, use a little bit more salt. Okay, I already put the salt in with the garlic, so we're probably good right there. I'm gonna use two and a half tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Third of a cup of olive oil and about a quarter cup of uh, red wine vinegar. A little bit less red wine vinegar than olive oil, but you could do more if you want. You can, if you like it more vinegary. Buy that big thing of red wine vinegar. Don't buy the little tiny one that they sell in the store. I got that for $3. It's such a good deal. And you're gonna use a lot of red wine vinegar, especially if you're making Italian food from the East Coast. That's why they sell these huge containers in not just the Italian specialty stores, they also sell them in the supermarkets here. Give it a taste right now, make sure it's perfect. It should be very strong, very potent. And that's delicious. This is great as a salad dressing, perfect to marinate chicken. I'm saving this about this much. Here we have our marinade. If you need a little bit more marinade, you put a little bit more olive oil in there and, uh, and you'll be set. will pick up much more flavor if you put it in overnight, but four hours should be good. Give it at least four hours. It, it, it's worth the wait. You know, you do, you do, best thing to do is do this when you are leaving for work in the morning, come back home, you have it, put it on the grill, or you can do it in a cast iron pan, so you can do this all year round. Broccoli Rob, Andy Boy is typically the brand you're gonna see. I think they're the biggest seller of Broccoli Rob in the United States. I remember actually when I was living in Minnesota, I asked for Broccoli Rob and they didn't know what I was talking about. And then one person asked me if it, if it Rapini was it. So keep that in mind. This is a good looking batch of Broccoli Rob. There's no yellow in the buds. It's, it's a bitter veggie, but that's what makes it so good. It goes really well with roasted peppers, cherry peppers, fresh mozzarella. All, these are just like, they're kind of like, they're, they're kind of meant for each other. Sausage, stuff like that. But this one with the grilled chicken that we're gonna do, it's gonna be great. But what I'm gonna do first is we're just going to saute it. I'm gonna keep the cloves whole. You can remove them. It's gonna flavor the oil really well and you can just discard them. But I'm gonna get them nice and golden and I recommend you do the same thing and then they're fine to eat and it's really nice. See this part right here, tip? I'm just gonna cut that out. This is a, this piece is totally fine except for that little spot there and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw that out. About a quarter cup of olive oil, medium, about medium to medium low, and uh, we're gonna get those cloves lightly golden. While this is getting going, it's gonna take about five minutes to really get that nice golden color in the garlic. We've got our broccoli rob is completely clean. And you can leave it fairly wet because we're gonna even put a tiny bit more water in there to let it steam. It's very easy to make broccoli rob this way. It's kind of foolproof. You don't have to, uh, I, you, you can do the, go through the process of parboiling it and then finishing it in oil is totally fine too. This way I just, it's kind of just the way I do it. And you can see how it's starting to get nice golden color. While well, I try to talk to you without getting my head too close to the oil. hot pepper if you want it. I'm 
I'm just giving it a little toss in the oil real, very quickly and we'll get our cover on. Probably a couple minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Take our lid off. Work. Take a piece. It's still a little hard. If you have too much liquid, you can drain it. If there's no liquid really here, there's a little hole right here that most of the moisture came out and that's fine right now. So I'm just gonna finish it now with the lid off. All right, that's good right now. It's fork tender. Chicken's been marinating for approximately four hours. If you can get it, or you know, like you start it in the morning to the afternoon, that would be better. Overnight would be best, but this should be okay. Cast iron pan here, and we're gonna, we wanna get that hot. So you can let that start heating up right now on about medium to medium high. You just really wanna get it hot. While that's heating up, the chicken really dry. So the marinade has already penetrated it and that's fine, it's done. But in order to get a decent sear, especially here because we're not putting it on the grill, we need to take all the moisture out of it. I'm gonna use paper towels to really remove any moisture. Just take the time to do it. I know it might seem like a lot. Use a decent amount of paper towels to get rid of it. Do it on both sides. And you'll, and you'll get a much better sear. And this is how you always wanna sear chicken. You always wanna pat it dry. All right, so I'm smoking up the whole place, but uh, it takes about two or three minutes per side to get perfect chicken, and this is how it looks. If it starts sticking, you know, just make sure you have enough oil down there. If it starts sticking, don't try to start, you know, doing that. If you just, you're gonna ruin it. It's gonna naturally release. So that's why you keep it about medium high, you'll be fine. The chicken I'm putting right in the pan. I'm gonna put this in the broiler with mozzarella on top. We're gonna to stack broccoli rabe, then the mozzarella, and I have it the exact length of my hero roll. See this? We want it to fit exactly. This mozzarella comes from Costco and it actually comes sliced. It's kind of good for this. Gonna put it in the broiler for just a couple minutes. Keep your eye on it the whole time. You want the bread a little crispy? Throw it in the broiler or the oven for a few seconds. This is fresh bread. I just got it a few hours ago, so this is perfect. This is the dressing, the marinade that was not used on the chicken. Remember I saved about a quarter of it. I'm gonna use this right now and put it on the bottom. Red roasted peppers and the rest of the marinade. I'm 
grilled chicken, broccoli rabe, fresh mozzarella, red roasted peppers with that awesome dressing. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is number two or three in the Hero Sandwich series. There's gonna be a bunch of these coming up. Got a lot more. We're gonna make another one with broccoli rabe in a minute and uh, we're gonna do some grilled stuff. Lots more sandwiches coming up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.